Hello again, my name is Anja and today I will continue the rune series and we will start now with the third Ayatia and the third Ayatia is called the Tür Ayat or also the Merchant Ayat. So it's mostly dedicated to the warrior god Tür and um, warriors go to war most likely of course right and I'm not saying like only war like shooting people bang bang dead like it's it's about the path you know the path of war brings challenges and initiations with it and the warrior has to learn a lot like including patience speed smoothness accuracy so I mean you the book you don't become a warrior overnight you have to learn all those skills and a warrior he needs a good strong heart and a firm belief in in the sanctity of what he protects and also a healthy body so there's no better ally than him because he wants to protect and survive by nature so he's resourceful and focuses on solutions and not the problem so, and this is the problem we all have, the problem problem. <laughs> we focus on the problem, but we don't focus on the solution. We get stuck on the problem, thinking how bad this problem really is, instead of maybe looking for the solutions. So in the smart note in warrior, he knows that mistakes do not mean failure, but that there are lessons that anyone who honestly and humbly seeks has to learn so and then let me get a bit into the merchants why merchants um the merchant's natural talent lies in sustaining sheltering and providing for the material needs of people right they will get you what you need what you want so and, and merchants are the most temperamental types and have to learn to manage their emotions if they sustain a good health and um, what I mean by that is um, yeah we need to, to look not to to get overwhelmed by, by our needs or by the needs of others so and, and merchants are guardians to the most valuable things in life because they know how to attract and to keep them so um, they know how to sell themselves they, they know about the needs they get into the needs of people and with merchants I'm not talking about our corporations or something right but I hope you're getting the point here so and this is what the third AAT is mostly about right now with the second AAT we closed everything off and um, now we're striving on to a new path so and um, yeah and in the third AAT um, which um, has the runes uh, Tiwas, Berkana, Evas, Manas, Lagus, Ingvas, Dagas, and Otala. Um, so here is the human, the, the being in cent, like the human being in center. So, and the energy of these runes are of very ancient natures, and that's why warrior and uh, merchant so and they're very powerful and stubborn so these runes will never give you what you want they will always give you what you need right so and this is in general for all three aetias so and it's good because they know what's right and i mentioned that before it is a so it's most like it's about our social behavior, our place in the world, our social positions. And um, these runes are very close to us humans. And yet, it will never be complacent. You can learn to reflect and you can come to insight and evolve. 
so let's begin the third ayat here which is Tivas and it stands for the victory or the heavens firmament so this rune of course stands for the letter T <clears throat> it's assigned to the god Tyr as I mentioned before and um, yeah and he also stands for world order for justice for justice mostly like this so with this rune you have your goals unshakably in mind you know like a polar stern in the night T was will show you the way because now where you left everything behind your new path lies ahead and you know what you want now because you released everything else and now you can strive forward let's say if you went through the first two, two eight years as a guidance so it, sh they sh it shows you how how incredibly strong you are and that it's time to show your strength and and, and you must not shake off your responsibility now you know be be brave like the warrior fight for your vision you know never never lose sight of your fellow human beings because um despite to everything you are part of 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 this community and not a reckless lone fighter right so if you are the warrior um you just don't go ahead and and kick everything out of your way you, you need to show compassion you need to make sure you don't you be part of this community whatever it is for you your friends your family whatever it is for you so and and also um it's not only that but it but it also means fame and courage like shown as a spear but if you look at it right it looks like a spear but also like a pillar that supports a celestial vault it's the rune of man and and these can draw from their power and to evolve so with her begins a third aetia the aid of the warrior the rune stands for justice the order of the world as i said before victory you know and um accordance with the law self-sacrifice and spiritual discipline so this is the real victory rune seek rune and the driving force is just it justice and it mainly represents a legit uh, victory over an unjustified attack so um yeah so so you celebrate now your victory right what which we did with zovilu and now and as i said with zovilu you, you you don't stop now you continue now you you know kick your way free and now you move on but we all know that challenges to come on the new path So in the mythology, the, the Tivas rune embodies the power of the the Asian god Tyr, like I said, and and he's responsible for the law and the thing, or which they call, which was the ping or the thing, um, which was a gathering, you know, a council ga gathering, and his. Transcendent character is found in the Nordic tradition in the myth of the captivity of the Fenris wolf, with Tyr sacrificing his hand to save the gods from destruction. So Tyr put his hands in Fenris' um, hand or paw during his bondage as a vote of confidence. But when Fenris realized he should be cheated, he put his hand and devoid it so still it was too late and he remained tied up so um 
yeah so he did his sacrifice right i'm not saying go and bite your hand off <laughs> i'm just um bringing in the mythology here so tivas is um the rune of self-sacrifice and kings and great folk leaders so the word tivas also taiwas or nordic tur is the germanic name for for a single god in uh the contrast to goth or god for the wholeness of the divine and returns in numerous indo-european names for the sky god so Tivas is essentially the power of the divine order in the multiverse and especially in the human world in in and and where we get confronted all the time with law and i'm not talking about police i'm talking in general net laws by nature for example so in this respect Tura is also a god of war as i said before because even warlike conflicts were considered in Germanic cultures as legal conflicts. So um, it was believed that the party was favored by the gods who had more salvation through lawful and honorable behavior in the past. So disputes could be um, decided earlier on a thing that I just talked about by dwells so it it didn't have to come to a battle it was just able to that two were taking it out so <clears throat> among germans the concept of victorious justice was widespread in other worlds falsely accused um could not lose a duel since the right and Tyr himself was on his side. So, yeah, um, the divine order of the multiverse expresses itself in the form of Tivas, rune as an image of the world column, which at the same, same time separates and connects the heavens and the earth. So, Tivas is also represented by the uh, Imunsul of the Saxons, which was placed on the, um, they call them the extern stones. Um, this is like a stone circle in Germany. So I put up a picture in case you want to go into it. So, but never mind that. So, um, so just as the second idea began with uh, the purifying destruction of Hagalas, if you remember, the third idea begins with a loss, <clears throat> but the loss is voluntary to achieve a greater goal. So sacrificed by someone who understands what he gives up and why. So Tyr sacrifices his hand to bind the wolf Fenris. So the sacrifice was honorable and Tyr was admired for his self-sacrifice by the whole pantheon. So, and, and again, I'm not saying go and cut a hand off or have someone stab you. Just be honorful. Like, you know, don't, don't be, for example, dirty if you want to reach your goal. You know, and um, and sometimes we have to do a sacrifice in order to get what we want. And this could be anything. Um, now I have to come up with examples again, and it's probably stupid again, but... Um, um, what could I say? Um, like, let's say me for example just me right for an example so no one feels personal pointed at um, and I'm not ready for that sacrifice just saying but I'm, I'm just trying to bring an example for sacrifice like my dream is to live in Scotland right so but I have my daughter and granddaughter here so 
I would have to do a sacrifice if I want to live, if I want to reach that goal. So, so that would be a huge sacrifice. And I'm not ready to do that. And I wouldn't leave my girls. But I'm just saying as an example, um, sometimes a sacrifice can hurt, you know, and that was just a stupid example, I know. But just so you get an idea. So, and let's continue with Tyr. Um, yeah, Tyr is probably the oldest god of Norse mythology, and he was more important than um, Odin in regards to war. So, and the rune is also the oldest of the Fudak, as it was handed down almost unchanged from the Bronze Age. Um, it represents everything that you associated associate with a god, strength, Heroism, duty, responsibility, you know, smoothness, kindness. So, but it also stands for deeper mystery, the wounding of a God. So, um, like our path that we walk or the awakening that we have, thing, the things we realize um, to understand what is really going on that can leave wounds right for example just an example <clears throat> so it can hurt you so bad that you really want to go back into your bubble you know what i mean so from a magical aspect um tivas can be used as a um where justice where uh where yeah, justice de decision is to be made or just a decision as well you know justice and then just just in case you don't understand the immigrant English here so like um, Thurizas that I talked about the, the pain is reminiscent of uh focusing more on duties and resp responsibilities so Tivas is the way of the warrior <laughs> so pretty simple <clears throat> so if you want to use Tivas um, then uh, it like it can direct energy in a certain direction you know, if you look at it, it looks like a spear, it looks like a, a dart. So this re rune symbolizes new challenges, initiations, and new insights. So don't be afraid, you know. The, the victory is already established if, if, you, if you are true. So use everything you have learned so far. Like everything. So protect your convictions because it will be challenged. So, but ultimately, like truth and just justice always win. So, yeah, and what I mean with protect your con conviction because it will be challenged. <clears throat> we all experience that right now. Um, Let's say we are learning something new every day. We are awakening more and more. We are we are discovering more and more abilities. And this is, you know, what we achieve during our battle. So the battle is not over yet because now come the challenges. And again, to give an example, um, so... If you try to bring out the truth, be aware that other, other will challenge you to talk the opposite. Um, so, uh, yeah, stumble, stumble, stumble. Um, so let's say herbs, for example, herbs. Um, I say 
burdock is good for this and that. And then someone else will say, oh no, that, that th this plant is poison, poisonous and we're taking it off the index. I say, okay, yarrow is good for cough. Oh no, it's poisonous because you know what I mean? So um, then someone will talk about crystals, how good crystals are. Um, then someone else comes up who, who does not want this truth to come out and, and will challenge you. Um, uh, no, crystals are actually very harmful for you. You're getting my point, right? We will be challenged. So, um, and, and the latest, uh, my friend just sent me some YouTube videos. Uh, now we have another one now, um, which is actually interesting and it really matches to the rune. That's why I'm bringing it up. Um, we all learned how to activate our chakras to, to, to let go of blockages. And now all of a sudden, um, something new comes up new bullshit how to remove your chakra give me a fucking break like for fuck's sake like seriously um i mean me personal me personal me personal not saying you know i'm just saying my opinion you can't remove energy you can maybe block it but you can't remove it but but you know what i mean so here we are all like whoa i made it and all of a sudden someone else comes up and so there will be challenges or you get a new job you really love this new job um someone else want that position and and starts shelling and challenging you you know you get my point right so um yeah, so this is how the rune can um, get used, or this is what the rune can show you. It, it will point you in a direction if you draw it, pulled it, for example. If it comes reverse, it can also have a reversed effect on um, um, let's say it, it, it can say um, that you're having still issues to to approaching your goal you know um, so and that if you follow that goal for example everything will lead into the big nothingness if you can say so so like the destruction of dreams so it, it tells you that you have the power to face challenges but you have not unleashed your full potential yet. So, and, and not to let fear stop you. Yeah, so again here, you need to be the warrior. You have to admit your weakness and to, turn your, to turn your weakness into strength. You know, work with it. So... Yeah, because if you're limiting yourself, you're limiting your higher self as well. Yeah. So, also, yeah, you can wear it, of course, as an amulet, you know, against conflicts, as protection. Um, for for victory for example so and if you draw the rune and and um if you pulled the rune because you wanted to know what's important for you right now um so it's um yeah it's knowledge about one one one's uh, true strength so it's about general success in, in legal matters whatever it is um, honor justice leadership and authority so because Tiva stands for justice and or it tells you about a decision or a challenge you have to fight for your right maybe so and 
it also tells you that the courage to self-sacrifice self-sacrifice leads to fair success fair success so practice and demand loyalty to yourself even in difficult times like re reliability and trustworthiness you know they are required it, it's this is if if justice is forced to success so and with loyal to yourself and even in difficult times i mean as i said before if we all make mistakes and if you make a mistake then learn from it don't do it again you know and don't bash yourself like oh why did i do that why do i'm so dumb Blah. you know um be fair and loyal to yourself that you deserve more and this happened for a reason you learned your lesson so don't do it again so and again use everything that you've learned so far everything now when you move on to the new path like you use all that you have learned so the, therefore you know um yeah it helps to helps you to make true decisions truthful decisions with fairness so and um that was it so far for tivas and always remember also those are just like the keywords i'm giving here um and you know if you meditate with a rune with a symbol if or if you draw the rune and if you go in trance um always remember that your message may be a different one like i said the key is the same but you may it may get additional informations that are for your purposes okay <clears throat> and again um the philgia that i talk about for this one is the dog so i like the dog because um the dog stands for reliability escort and assistance right like we know how strong dogs are and how lo <clears throat> how loyal they are with their unconditional love and playfulness so yeah so with this help and since it also guide us like literally through life right even if we wouldn't find our way home they would find out a way home so he helps us to get out of ourselves and find our, find our way if we get stuck or if we get lost in our thoughts or in a pattern so he helps us to believe in our potential and to make the best of it so um yeah with a dog on your side you can master your life you know attentively and confident like even in dark times <clears throat> so and the dog has much more senses than we do or we do but we don't use them anymore and so the dog will help us to gain our senses back and how to use them properly and yeah and how to discover interesting you know unknown things like i said so and with his loyalty you know he also helps us how to master difficult times or or lonely life situation we, we all have been in this oh i feel lonely time right but he also shows us how to assist others in such situations as well because we're not by ourselves and uh, the warrior is there also to help like the merchant is looking out for the needs so and sometimes you know what very often like like effects you know on humans is 
like a hug, for example, is sometimes more than any well-intentioned advice, I find. So just take a look around and see who could need you. So, but I like the Philgia with that rune because it totally goes hand in hand with it. And then, of course, we have the herb with it, which is the sage. And I talked about sage, of course, before as well. And there are different, many different kinds of sage, but I, I, I'm not getting into all the different kinds of sages. So, but the, the spirit of the plant, the, the spirit of the sage, um, and especially of the incense, purifies our mind and our soul. And it can be used very well to get rid of like the energies of old houses, for example, sample, or even like our houses, apartments, wherever you live in, room, um, to, to clean out energies. So, but it's always important to smudge the corners as well. So, because sometimes in old houses, or if we move to a place, or if if we had some stuff going on, like like negative external influence, you know, gets like a little stuck there. So the incense of sage of, of the spirit of this plan it it's really good for letting go um of of disturbing energies i i always have an issue saying good or bad so let's say for disturbing energies <clears throat> for letting go of people you know maybe in separation or due to death or arguments and um yeah it, it like I said, it makes our minds clear and fresh again, and we can change our point of view, you know, which goes with Tivas very well. Like I mentioned before, the reverse one. So, yeah, it helps us to rebuild your soul bit by bit again, you know, and um, it, it's also very, very supportive for people. <clears throat> for sensitive people who often doubt themselves and do not have much confidence in their actions, really. So, um, yeah, but I want to name three sage kinds. I mean, there are many, many others, but so, but there is the white sage, <clears throat> which we now all, I would say, um, the natives use it as well. So this is very good to clean, you know, and, and especially if you're sick with bronchitis or um, it's very good for general healing ceremonies if you've been sick. And then we have the Aztec sage. This is calming, uplifting, but also mind, expand, uh, mind expanding and psychoactive. So it's trans in inducing. So, and, it's, and it will strengthen your will, help you with definitory, and um, yeah, it's very trance-inducing. And yeah, and then we have our regular sage, right, that we have in the backyard or in the pot, depending on. So it's good for light cleanings in your house, you know. Um, it helps you, it promotes concentrating on disinfections, you know, in your lungs if you help breathing it in. Um, it's a bit psychoactive, but not as much. And it's good, it's, it's like cold relieving, so... So in the herb itself, it's um, like his... For, for the healing effects. Um, its specialty is like, it's very astringent and disinfectant, yeah? So, and it's also full of zinc and uh, vitamins. So, which no one really tells you that most of herbs have really 
a lot of other supplements like except the oils or all the others um, a lot of them have a lot of vitamins a lot of zinc magnesium calcium you name it so I mean and then we all know sage for throat sore throat right we like to take the little candies for the throat so and it and it has an anti-sweat effect and yeah more precisely the sage has so many healings effect um that it really can be called like an all-rounder and sage you can use as teas or tinctures oils or baths so um yeah i'm just gonna spare you with all the ingredients of it um what it does because it's really an all-rounder it goes from head to toe and if you want to hear more um you can look up one of my herbal videos so also the oak goes with the tivas rune um, and as I mentioned before the oak stands for the strength so and, and and in Germany it's considered the king of the trees and which is really justified because by the stable wood itself and um, yeah you can do a lot of with it um, so from the Yeah, the, the acorns, uh, once they fall off, they may taste bitter if you try them, but um, you can water them, like put them in a bath, and that will remove the bitter substances. And, um, and then once they dry again, you can use... Uh, um, you can process the dry acorns into flour, which has um, yeah, which works very well. You just need a lot of acorns, trust me. So, and also there, you um, I mentioned before, you can use them as a co coffee substitute. The acorns um, when you roast and ground them, and the bark of the oat oak is very astringent like um which makes it very valuable for bleeding and inflammation so so you can use the bark and the acorns but um more as a tea than a tincture and of course like um if you want to use it for um, for for wounds, right? Then of course external. Um, yeah, the leaves please only use for incense because they will do you no good, right? And also, if you uh, smudge. Um, oak, I would recommend other resins or herbs with it because it, it has a very intense scent. So just saying. I mean, not disturbing for me, not I, I could burn it like that, but I just recommend it. <clears throat> so, and of course, the Teutons and the Celts, they used oak bark, bark as an extra in their incense. So, the, the oak tree has always been a tree of protection, so which the, the 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 spirit of this tree, you know, wants to convey to us in in a smudging process. So and also against negative influence from the outside, um, it's really good to use. 
so and or if we have get stuck in a in a process or in a matter so then um the incense really helps well to you know know to take again realistic thought processes so to get us out of there of our stuck mind yeah and then once it starts clearing our mind we see you know some things from a different angle so and the spirit of the oak it will give you strength right and and i talked about it before and it will give you the right balance so especially with the oak but in general with all trees never just take that energy you know it's good to communicate with the tree so in this case let the oak do it for you um because she knows how much and what you need and as i said before please don't take only you know from the tree or whatever plant give something back in return and and speak your thank you i find that very important so um yeah what i mean with um don't take too much you know um if you take too much oak energy this could just turn into the reversed tivas for example you could just be like totally like hyper and then totally run off into the wrong direction you know what i mean like a woodpecker uh then you're gone and totally off in the wrong direction because you're so wound up that you're like woo so or you become even a little full of yourself you know just example so um the best thing is as with all trees uh communicate with them and and they will give you the right amount of energy i just recommend this with with all trees so yeah and don't feel dull doing it you know it's fine um and you don't have to hug the tree doing that it's just enough just to sit in front of the tree so because uh yeah okay um yeah that was it for tonight um i tried to keep it short as possible so you can make it through it <laughs> yeah i hope you enjoyed it and you can do something with this information you're always welcome to ask me question if you have any um again i'm not a rune specialist in uh, terms of um that i studied the edda or germanic history in any case so i mean i studied runes of course and i worked with them so i gained my knowledge but um yeah i think i mentioned him before dr jackson crawford like he does all kind of other stuff and talks about runes odin the gods from a mythology point of view very interesting well okay um thank you so much for your time and for listening so and also this wasn't a collective reading <laughs> um i was just introducing the rune but if it speaks to you yeah then maybe work with this rune a little closer so yeah thanks again so much for listening and i see you all next week have a good night or good morning wherever you are blessed be bye bye